Let's talk about the Schofield. We, uh, a couple of years ago at SHOT Show, teased the idea of having rifled barrels, and those are finally becoming a reality. So we have a 177 caliber rifled barrel, and then we also have a 22 caliber rifled barrel that's available for the Schofields. It is available in the five inch as well as the seven inch. Uh, I've got the seven inch here in front of me. So let's look at how to change this. The first thing that you'll need is a punch and ideally a soft face hammer of some sort. You're just gonna lay the gun down on its side. You wanna make sure that the left side of the gun is what's on the ground on your work surface. You're gonna drive out this little hole, or the little pin that's in this hole here in front of the cylinder. And then you're just gonna drive out this one pin here that's on the top latch. Make sure you keep track of those. If you got a magnetic tray, I would recommend using that. Once you've done that, you can then open the action and your cylinder will come out, as will your barrel. You got a spring on the end of the barrel, you're gonna to need to keep that handy. Also notice one side of that spring has more finished coils than the other side. That side is what's gonna face the muzzle end of the barrel. So this is your old BB barrel. Set it off to the side. You might wanna use it someday. You might not. And now I've got a choice. Do I wanna install the 177 barrel or the 22? As you can imagine, I'm just going straight for the 22. So we're gonna place that spring on there. Again, making sure that the side with the more finished coils is facing in that direction. You wanna make sure that this tab is facing up and you just slide this right in. Make sure that you can spring it back and forth. Once you've done that, go ahead and insert your cylinder and then close up your gun. Now we're gonna flip it around the other way and you'll notice that your pins have grooves. You wanna make sure that the grooves are facing toward you when you insert them. I'm gonna go ahead and stick both pins in. Just kinda of get them started by hand. Once I've done that, I'll take my punch. Be careful that you don't let the punch slip because that can mar the surface. And now, You've converted your Schofield, in this case, to a 22. Now you can shoot 22 pellets. It is important to remember which, which barrel that you have in there. So shooting a 177 shell through here, no big deal. But if you try to go the other way around and shoot one of your 22 shells through a 177, your gun's not gonna appreciate it. So pay attention to which barrel you have installed. All right, we're at the Barra Indoor Range and I've got our Schofield with the 22 barrel and then I've got the Schofield with just the standard 177 BB barrel and we're gonna look at the difference downrange. All right, let's take a look at the difference. So on the right here, you can see the 22 the entrance and the exit and then on the 177 you can see the entry and the exit as you can see the 22 is definitely my favorite the 22 is easier to load it really makes a can jump it's just a load of fun to shoot so if you got a scope field and uh, you want to take it to the next level, get that 22 barrel, get that thing installed, have a lot of fun.